The new update has brought in one of the most annoying fuel bots that no one has ever seen. His name is Demon God Bobbers, and you may have seen him from one of the episode questline. Anyway, I took my time to analyze Demon God Bobbers' attack and pattern so I can give you guys some of the most efficient ways to fight this boss. Now, Demon God Bobbers has a very specific attack pattern that you need to watch out for. The first one is Hell Slasher, which is a dash attack. Now, this is actually very important, by the way, because Demon God Bobbers had two different combos attack after using Hell Slasher ability. The first one is Hellfire Outcry. Demon God Bobbers automatically charge up and release a powerful swing attack in front of him. This attack also has a super knockback effect, which means any knockback immunity buffs it useless against him. The second one is Hellfire Claw and then follow up with Hellfire Outcry. This combo will only activate if Demon God Bobbers use Hell Slasher twice. Players can counter a Hellfire Outcry if they have an iframe or a dodge ability. However, this will not work efficiently because Demon God Bobbers' ability does not have any cooldown. So technically, he can recast Hellfire Outcry combo again in the next 5 up to 10 seconds. The best way to counter Hellfire Outcry is that you want to start running toward the boss right away the moment you saw Demon God Bobbers activate the Hell Slasher ability. This way, you will be able to get behind the boss as soon as possible. Also, your character will get a bleeding debuff if you get hit by Hell Slasher ability. This debuff can stack indefinitely. Demon God Bobbers also apply damage over time debuffs if you get hit by some of his ability. Once again, this debuff can also stack infinitely. The next one can be very tricky. You want to make sure to move back right away the moment you saw Demon God Bobbers throw multiple sword in front of him because the boss will activate two following ability. The first one is a jump attack and then Demon God Bobbers will use an ability called Extreme Hellfire Fortress. The jump and Hellfire Fortress attack will always have super knockdown effect and there's no way to dodge it unless you use the iframe or the dodge ability. So you want to make sure you have enough time for yourself to use iframe or dodge ability before he used the fortress skill now the fortress skill is a big error ability so there's no way to dodge it unless you use the iframe or a dodge ability the last combo is a melee attack and it's actually pretty cool by the way because demon god bobbers will use something called the breaking hell loose and then he's going to use something called hellfire claw or multiple close combat slash attacks those aren't going to give you any trouble but you still need to watch out for hellfire claw demon god bobbers has a random spawn time between four hours Hour, up to six hours and he only lasts 20 minutes so you want to work along with other players and party to take down the boss as soon as possible demon god bobbers also spawn on the first four channels of the magic association assembly hall map now the reward are completely random even for a high ranking party based on my experience i didn't get anything good at all for the first five attempt but I did manage to find someone to get a Demon God Bobbers cosmetic and it's actually pretty cool by the way because it was a one hand weapon. You can also get a two hand weapon but more importantly the best reward out there has to be this one right here. The Demon God Bobbers card. This thing is one of the best goddess cards right now. It does so much damage for PvE, PvP content or any title content out there at the moment anyway that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one later